Hey guys, Becca here with Becca's Easy Recipes and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to make some dinner. I'm going to be making a Mexican picadillo um, and it's a super simple recipe. Um, you can actually add anything you want to it. I'm just going to do the basic one um, and it has hamburger meat. Um, couple of potatoes, some onion, and some seasoning. And uh, you can even add uh, salsa or, or chile, you know, like jalapenos or, or green chilies or, you know, whatever you like. Um, you can certainly add to it and you can only make it taste better and improve the, the flavor of it. So let's get started. Okay. <clears throat> I got my hands washed. I got my potatoes peeled. Um, I'm just using three small ones. We like the golden russet kind. I don't know why. Just We just do. So I'm going to dice these up. And I got one onion. And you can dice them up however big or small you want to. We like ours kind of small. And this is like one of the ultimate comfort foods for us around here. And this is super simple like if you've had a busy day, you don't feel like cooking something extravagant, this would be your ultimate go-to meal. And it's one of my husband's favorites. Try not to cut your fingers off. Hope you are having a great Monday. I know Mondays are kind of hard to get started, but once you get over this little uh, Monday hump, you're good to go for the rest of the week. take long at all. Now I'm gonna cut this here onion and I hope I don't cry too much. You know they say when if you cry when you're cutting the onion that means you're a jealous person. But I'm not a jealous person. Oh baby <laughs> But who knows? I think if you cry because you cut an onion, it's because the onion's too strong. In my opinion. There we go. She's all cut up. she is and oh lord here comes the waterworks so now I'm gonna get my hamburger started get that to cooking up sorry guys my eyes is a little watery from the onions <laughs> so let's get to cooking that hamburger okay so I got my pan heating. I got it on medium heat. Number five, if you have the numbers on your, your knobs. And 
put my hamburger in there. this is heating up let me tell you about some of the spices I'm gonna be adding I'm gonna be adding a little bit of tomato and beef um, bouillon powder flavor I'm gonna be adding some onion powder garlic powder some camino and some cilantro that I've uh, got in this little container here these are pretty handy too because if you don't use a whole lot during the week, this is going to save you right here and you won't waste it. And for a good side for this, you can do uh, refried beans or Spanish rice. You can even add vegetables to this if you want to. Like I said, I'm just doing the basic one for dinner. And this will go a long way, actually. Heat up some tortillas to have with it, you know, some flour tortillas. Or you can even make this out of, make a soup out of it. Um... You can make tacos out of it. It's pretty versatile and goes great with everything. Now, while this gets to cooking, I'm going to um, get the rest of my stuff together and, and we'll get back to it. Okay, my meat is not quite done yet, so I'm going to go ahead and add my onions. Be sure and drain your uh, hamburger juice off of here. Drain the meat. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say, drain your meat. I'm going to add my potatoes and my onions. Guys, I want to apologize for my last video of the peanut butter cookies. I'm apologizing because I don't know what happened with the sound. But for some reason, you couldn't hear me telling you how to make them. And, I, and I'm really sorry about that. I don't know what happened. And I'm not very tech savvy. So, maybe I... Uh, did enough hand movements and stuff in my video that you could kind of follow me. Okay. Now I'm going to start adding my seasoning. I'm gonna, I am going to add some uh, minced garlic. like when you, when you open it and you buy it. Can you see? It's already diced up for you. Not too much, just a little bit. Now, I'm going to add some ground cumin or camino. Tablespoon. Add some granulated garlic powder. 
I'll probably do about the same. A tablespoon of each uh, seasoning. This one's beef. I want it to have a good beef flavor, but also a good tomato flavor. And you can add tomato sauce to this if you want to, which I do sometimes. But I figured I'd try out the, the beef and the, the tomato bouillon first. And if it needs more tomato, then I can add some tomato sauce. But I am going to add a little bit of salsa that we got from the... Uh, a restaurant just because it's already made and I don't want to waste it so I'm going to add it to this. I wish you guys could smell this but it smells so good. Y'all you know I gotta add my other favorite seasoning, Sasson. I add that stuff to pretty much everything. I'm gonna do it. See, they come in these little envelopes like this, two, two, uh, two deal. But I'm just gonna use one of these. And this will kind of stain your fingers. So, you just want to sprinkle it in there, all over. Then it turns everything on. And you're going to add a little bit of salt to this. If you want to add too much, because your bouillon powders are already going to be salty. So if you want to taste it before you add salt to it, go right ahead. I'm a salt lover, but my husband, he don't like too much salt. And you know, it's, it's not about me around here. I'm cooking for other people, so I cook what everybody else is going to like. And I can add my own salt to it later if I need to. Look how good this looks, guys. Can you see? Yummy. I just love making these one pan dishes or one pot dishes, whatever you want to call it. And you know, they have a Cuban version of Picadillo, which is basically the same thing, only they add green olives and raisins to theirs. I love me some green olives, but I don't care for raisins too much. Unless it's with something like bread or whatever. And I don't know if Johnny would care for raisins in his dinner. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and leave that out. Now you can add a little bit of water so you can uh, make you up like a little bit of gravy, you know. And then it helps cook the potatoes too. 
and then you know help disperse all your seasonings around so that every little fella in here gets dashed nicely. Man, this smells so good already. But you want to let it cook until your potatoes get nice and tender, but not falling apart. So, I'm going to add a lid to this. And let it simmer. This one didn't come with lids, so I'm going to use one that's a little oversized. And I'm going to turn it down. Let it simmer until your potatoes get done. I'm going to turn my Kamal on over here and let it preheat. Preheat so that I can heat up my tortillas. I'm going to use this one over here. There, and we'll... we'll uh, get back to it shortly and we'll check it after probably about 10 minutes see how the potatoes are doing okay see you then okay guys <clears throat> it's been cooking for about 20 minutes I did 10 minutes with the um, with the lid on it and then you take the lid off and you let it cook another 10 minutes so that the juice and stuff can evaporate a little bit. So let's give it a taste and see if the potatoes are done. But I want you to look at it first because it looks pretty awesome. Can you see? Look how beautiful that is. Mmm, mmm. Guys, you gotta try this. You don't know what you're missing. I'm gonna give it a try. Potatoes should be done by now. Potatoes are done. It's got a little kick because I added my salsa in. Guys, it has so much flavor. Man, you have to try this. And it's so simple and it's a quick dinner. I think your family will love it. If, you know, And you can add a, a mild salsa if you want to. If you don't like spice, just add tomato juice or tomato sauce, I mean, sorry. Um, with some tortillas and a side of refried beans, the Spanish rice. Man, this, I'll tell you what, this is our go-to when we're tired and don't feel like cooking a whole lot and standing in the kitchen for hours. Yeah, you gotta try you some. I wish I could give, give you all a bite through this phone here. Try it one more time just to make sure you know we're gonna get sick from it. Mm. That is perfection, man. That's it, guys. That's it. That this right here is going to be your new best friend. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you can add vegetables to it too. You can put corn in there or peas. You know, whatever your, you can put carrots, whatever your favorite vegetable is. You can add to this. You know, it's not going to hurt. It's just going to make it taste better. But, this right here is your Mexican picadillo. 
and you can't go wrong with it. I don't even add no salt because the um, the bouillon powders did the, did the trick, did the job. So I don't add no any extra salt. So if you like this channel, guys, if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, please. You know, help a sister out. What? What? But I love you guys. I really do. I love you with all my heart. And just remember, you're smart, you're beautiful, and you're everything God made you to be. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Okay? Love you. Until next time, America. Bye.